What's better than the smell of fresh cut flowers? Having that fragrance whenever and wherever you want it. Smell is the strongest sense attached to memories, so why not make some memories with the help of our first guest? He blossomed in the floral business and also produces some of the world's most beautiful perfumes. Eric Buterbaugh is known as the florist to the stars. His client list includes Demi Moore, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Naomi Campbell. Here to make sense of sense, please welcome Eric Buterbaugh. Good morning. Hi. How are you? Oh my gosh. I follow you on Instagram, so it's nice to have you like here in person. Yeah, I love being here. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about how you got here. You grew up in Oklahoma. Yes. But you traveled the world of fashion through magazines at that time. I did, and I lived in London, and I ran Johnny Versace in England. Oh, I love how you just throw that out there. I lived in mm. London, and I ran Johnny <laughs> Versace. Yes, and you but were around all of the celebrities of well, fashion. Well, that was the, during the time supermodels happened. Yeah. That's how I met Naomi, because she was 16, and he made superstars, so it's been a it's been a wonderful journey. Yeah, and it's interesting how things kind of come back because uh, when you were a child, your your dad w was really good with with floral things yes. and, and gardening and the whole bit. But you, did you ever think about going into that? You just always loved flowers, right? Yeah, but never thought of it as a career. Yeah, and I moved back to LA to figure out what I wanted to do when I grew up. Yeah, because you had done a lot and, in the fashion industry already. And no idea. And I did the flowers for a friend's party just for the hell of it. Yeah. And next thing you know, people were calling calling and I kept saying no I don't really do that yeah so you all basically accidentally fell into yeah. a new career yeah. okay so there's the flowers and you did these amazing floral displays mm -hmm. and, and, and flowers are so look at I mean a beautiful beautiful endless things that you can actually do with flowers but it kind of made sense um, s-e-n-s-e -S -E, as opposed to s-c-e-n-t right <laughs> it, made, it made sense to move on into the floral world and a lot of people this is a mystery of how we get this fragrance first of all explain to us the difference between um, perfumes like why, why one might be much more and toilet water and the whole bit well, I think when you're making perfume, a lot of perfumes are made with a lot of chemicals now mm. to get that smell, which is the op I did the opposite because everything I've ever done, I want it to be the best. Yeah. So I went to the most amazing noses. So these are very pure and from the, the pure ingredients. So this is all eau de perfume. And there's a science to this. Yes, yes, and thank God. All of my fragrances were made by master noses and there aren't that many master noses alive master in the world. Master noses, yeah. okay. <laughs> all right, um, take me to the, the, through the transition of saying, okay, I love flowers. Mm -hmm. Now let's put this into a situation where we can, and by the way, a lot of flowers today when I reach down to smell them, I can't smell that scent that, anymore. That was one level of it, is that flowers, the way they grow them in hothouses, they're losing their fragrance. Mm -hmm. So they don't smell like they do, yeah. maybe from your garden or they did in the old days. So I thought, well, we need that smell. Yes, we But do. I was obsessed by perfume when I was a little kid in Oklahoma. I pr had more bottles than this on my cabinet. <laughs> and I wanted the perfume. I love smelly stuff, yeah. candles. So it was a dream for me. Yeah, but that was a brave new world for you too because oh, you had yeah. to learn about this. Yes. Okay, so take us through some of your scents right here. And, and how do we, it's, I think it's kind of hard to pick a, a perfume for somebody, but sometimes we have to, it's a personal decision, isn't it? Yes, it is. But also sometimes if you know someone too, like this morning I sprayed you. Yes. And I knew that this Dahlia would was be me. good on you. This smells so good. It is rich. Oh. It is sexy. And here's the thing. I know I've, I have sprayed perfume on in the morning and gone. Doo, 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 doo. Mm, I still can't smell it. Doo, doo, doo. You just did a little, just a little dot on my on my wrist here, and and it's you can smell it. Cause girl, it's the good stuff. It's the good stuff. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, Dahlia. So what goes into Dahlia? Dahlia is a beautiful fragrance, and I think this is perfect for someone for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. That is maybe an independent woman, sexy, somebody trying oh, well, to get her. well, there you go. Uh, that's why I picked it for you. Deborah Dahlia, <laughs> there we go, right there. Okay, and then your next one? This one is Oud Saffron, which is our biggest selling perfume now. And it is really, really beautiful and pure. I'm gonna make you smell this. Yeah, I wanna one smell that one. And by the I'll way, where do we put it? Do we put it on our clothes? Do we put it on our? You put it on pulse points. Okay. So you put it on your wrist, yeah. here on your neck, in the crook of your leg. Oh, let me smell. Oh yeah, that's beautiful isn't too. It? And completely different than the yeah, Dahlia. Isn't it? Yeah. It's a different kind of girl. Okay, I love that. You know, I mentioned earlier how um, our sense of smell is connected so mm -hmm. to our memory. So I have a friend who I, I always, we go together to pick out her Christmas gifts and her mm -hmm. Valentine gifts and things like that. And her husband thinks that he's picking them out. I say, oh, that looks good, yeah. right? So <laughs> we were shopping one day and then he called me and said, where are you? I said, oh, I'm at my friend's jewelry store. And he goes, oh, he goes, well, I'll meet you there to pick out something. And his wife was there with me picking stuff out. 
out. So I, I so I said, you have to go. He's down Get the street. The yeah, you have to go. He's down the street. And as she's running out the, the hallway, I said, what are you wearing? She goes, what? What scent? He's going to recognize it. <laughs> right. So anyway, the Amazing. perfumes can give you away there. All right. And, then and this is the Oudin Rose, which I think this is a beautiful rose with Valentine's Day. Oh, wow. This is a beautiful fragrance. Okay, Ralph, come over here because we can't mix perfumes. For a long relationship. Yeah, for a long relationship yeah. here. Okay. And Ralph is married to his beautiful wife, Julie. And there we go. Let me let me pulse point and then. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that smells good too. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Take this clip and show it to Julie so she knows that that perfume was sprayed on you by me on the show. Yeah, yeah, this is not another woman. All right. <laughs> Scent of a woman right there. I'll give you one more little tip. Okay. You know, whenever anyone puts on perfume, they immediately do this. Yes. You're not supposed to do that. Okay. It messes up the chemical compound. You oh. just put it on, let it go in. And perfume might not smell the same on one person as it no. does on another. No. It mixes with your chemicals. So that w there is one of our fragrances. I'm not going to say which one. It is our one of our best selling ones uh -huh. and everyone loves it. I love it on everyone. It doesn't smell good on me. Oh, you're not gonna say which one? No, it's not here. Okay, I'm gonna start spraying every single <laughs> one of them and see which one, what it is. All right, and so yeah. it, with uh, and a, getting a good perfume, like I say, with the real stuff, you use just very little. It mm -hmm. lasts you a long yeah. time, and then it, the way it makes you feel when you smell it again, mm -hmm. or when people mm -hmm. associate it with you. It's so lovely. Yeah. And there's f it's a funny thing since I launched this brand, I will be stopped in the streets of a city, and people come up to me and they say, "It's like I felt like somebody gave them a card." Yeah. for everybody to say this but it, they just come up and say until i found your perfume i was never stopped in the street like i am every day and these are people i've never met or know that yeah I, that's when you know just, you found the right set yeah. when people say what are you wearing all right so i i love perfume i love flowers and i love shoes and i put them all together over here hold on one second so here you go this is how you have shoes and uh flowers all together at the same time <laughs> And speaking of shoes, we know you love shoes too. Can we take a look? I think we like yeah, the three I same think, things. Yes, yes, we do. <laughs> look at this man's shoes, Eric. Let's oh. take a, wow. Okay, I love that. <laughs> you are. <laughs> what size are those? 42. Okay, that, that happens to be my size. We're going to have to okay, leave good. those. You and Elton John. <laughs> Eric, thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. I love being here.